What's going on fam? Just doing a, a quick video on this Blackout Emblem overlay kit that I received from the folks at Cartrim Home. And um, y'all who know me know that I am a Chrome guy. However, uh, I'm starting to find certain areas on my car that I do want to uh, gray or black out. In this case it is the emblems. Um, this is a kit that was sent out to me um, that is specifically for the platinum trim. Obviously, Toyota OEM, they do have these overlay kits already, uh, but after three years, they still have not made one for the platinum trim. So the only way you can find this would be um, at the market. Now, of course, um, there's a few ways that you can um, black out the emblems by yourself. Um, a, if uh, you have the know-how and you wanna give it a try, you can use Plasti Dip or Hyper Dip to spray and put a coat onto the, the chrome and then peel it off. That's one method. Or you can just buy the um, OEM overlays. So this is a kit that I got. So I'm gonna do a quick review. I've already uh, used this tool to meticulously clean out the little corners and grooves inside the, the letters and I wiped it down with the alcohol already. So these are clean and good to go. You gotta make sure you prep these things really well before you put them on. Uh, in this package, uh, you get one Toyota emblem, you have an all-wheel drive, and then you have platinum and Highlander uh, lettering. This is made of some hard pla uh, plastic, so it's not malleable. And on the back, you have 3M double-sided tape and it's easy as just peeling it off and sticking it on. So let's go ahead and do that now and see how it looks uh, before and after. Again. Something that I should note is I have a hybrid. So I have hybrid badging right here. If you have a gas version, obviously you don't need it. But in this kit, it doesn't have um, the hybrid uh, badging. Uh, so uh, the folks at Cartoon Home did send me out an entire kit for their um, RAV4 um, fifth generation. So it have, has all these little parts in here. And in here, it does come with this hybrid badging off of a RAV4 kit, which I kind of test fitted earlier. And this does fit here. So I'll go ahead and install that as well. So that way I have a complete uh, blackout badging in the back. Again, hard acrylic plastic and just peel off of the, the tabs that they have here. One side, two side, and you'll see the double sided tape in there. Um, just match it up. This badging right alone, right here alone, is a perfect fit. I'll put on the hybrid badging next. This is out of the RAV4 fifth generation kit. Highlander badging. So with the badging, you'll notice here there's a bulkier side at the bottom and then a smaller side at the top. So that way it aligns with the actual chrome badging. Again, just made of plastic. Showing you this so that way you don't put it upside down. You want to make sure that the thick part is on the bottom. Oh, it's 
Something else I noticed here is because this is plastic, there's some of these little parts that are excess plastic material that I think what I'll do before I slap these on, I'll just use a little tweezer and just cut these down so that these are all, all removed so it's nice and flush. You don't have to do that, but I'm kind of OCD like that. So I'm going to head and do that first and then we'll resume sticking these on. L looks like it's a little bit too long. I wonder if these work backwards. Just in case you want to see how thick these overlays are compared to the chrome. All that we're left with is the L. But for some reason, this L is the same length compared to the L on this side, right? However, the L on this side, it won't fit too long so that'll be some feedback that I'll send to uh, the folks at Cartrim home just going through this experience right here I think in retrospect I will most likely hyper dip this so that I don't have to worry about the double-sided uh, tape getting loose uh, in the future and uh, you don't have to worry about um, overlays that don't fit. But this is how it would look. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, it does look pretty cool. I'll keep the Toyota um, emblem on here. Another thing to keep in mind too is with these overlays, if you look at uh, the P and the A, usually, you can see the white paint in between, but the overlays, they cover it all, all up. So that's another reason for um, plastic dip or hyper dipping, in my uh, opinion. All right, well, like and subscribe. Like I said, I'm just gonna continue to provide y'all with videos and my honest reviews. 
if there's things that I see that are issues, I want to make sure you know and the factory knows as well. So that way they can make these changes if they're going to um, sell these uh, out the market products to uh, us, the consumers. Thanks again. Take care. Peace. All right. So here's some bonus uh, footage for y'all uh, to kind of salvage this project. Uh, what I did with this long L at the end right here is I used um, a razor to basically cut off and snip off uh, um, a little bit of uh, the end here. So this is the part that I snipped off, if you can see it. I'll put it here on my bumper. So that's the part that I snipped off. That's how long the excess was in order to make it fit like that. So that did work. So I'll just leave it on and we'll see how long these stay on the car and I'll report back if they eventually sometime down the road fall off. All right, take care everyone, bye.